Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the shop. Actually, we're outside the shop today and I want to do an update on this Toro mower. I did a review on this thing about eight or nine months ago and I've put about 25 hours on it. And I've had several questions brought to me by viewers who made some really good sense and I can't believe I didn't cover them, but I want to cover them today. So a couple of things is I've had people ask where the fuel and the oil go. For some people it may be, uh, you know, common knowledge and it's not a big deal, but for people who maybe never bought a mower before and are just now buying a new home and they're getting a mower so they can take care of their lawn, um, I want to just give you a quick view. So when you get one of these mowers, it comes with a, a specific measured amount of oil in a bottle and I want to make sure that everyone knows that before you ever try to crank the motor, make sure to fill and use the entire bottle of oil to fill it. And it goes right here. And so how you know, uh, this is the dipstick. It has a uh, little picture of an uh, oil spout there. So that's how you know where the oil goes. And I want to show you too, because this mower's had 25 hours of runtime. And I want you to see how clean that oil is. And I have not had to add any or do anything to it. So that's nearly a year's worth of mowing on a regular basis weekly and the oil still looks like that. So for you naysayers who say you gotta change your oil, hey guys, maybe the engineers of this engine knew more than we did because it so far, like I said, it's been about 25 hours of use, no oil change and the oil still looks clean. The way this is designed, like I told you in the first video, is that um, you just add oil and keep it to a certain level on the stick. And you'll see there's two lines on the stick. As long as you keep the oil in, in between those two lines, you're good to go. The other thing is, is people ask where the fuel goes. The fuel cap here, you can see, I'll remove it. It has a little plastic piece so that you don't lay it down and lose it. And it goes right back on. And how you know it goes in here, there's a, a picture of a fuel, a gas fuel pump right there so that's where the fuel goes this uh, particular tank holds about a quart of fuel and speaking of fuel I've had someone else ask about running premium fuel in it instead of unleaded the manufacturers don't specifically say anything about that they say to just run normal unleaded fuel but in this day and time our unleaded fuel in most places has 10% ethanol in it and so there's some current concerns about running ethanol in a gasoline motor and that over time it will clog the, the carburetor and, and be hard to start. So I wanted to show this and, and just so that everybody knows, this is not a sponsored item. This is just something that I use, I pick up at Walmart. It's, an eth it's called Ethanol Shield. This little bottle costs about two bucks and it'll treat up to five gallons of fuel. And what it is is called a fuel stabilizer. And so if I add this to my fuel and I've never had any problems running normal unleaded with the 10% ethanol in it. Again, if you really want to and you want to pay the extra money for uh, premium fuel, you can, but it's not necessary. And the one last thing that I wanted to show you that I didn't cover in the original video, and this is kind of a maintenance item too, is right here is where the air filter goes. And it's good that about once a year you clean this air filter or replace it. Probably what I would do is replace it because they're not very expensive. And there's a clip right here. You just pull the clip, flips open. You can, it just slides off. You can see it's Briggs and Stratton number C3A0 or part number 593260. This is a Briggs and Stratton original filter. You can pick these also, uh, also pick these up at Home Depot or wherever you bought the mower probably. And it's, they just slide on, slide off. You'll see there's two pieces here. You just push it right back on, hook your bottom piece and line it back up and it pops back on. It's good to keep that clean. So if you're mowing in a, a dusty area a lot, you know, take it out. If you have an air compressor with a, air nozzle on it you can you can clean it once or twice like that but i'd recommend replacing it once a year anyway i hope hopefully i've answered all the questions 
uh, that I've had over on this mower over the last nine months and uh, and shown you uh, some of the features that I missed the first time. If this was helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really helps. It helps get let YouTube know to get this video out and show it to more people. It helps me because I know you like the video and it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends and family, and most of all, stay safe.